Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 4, Quarter 3, Week Number 1. Our learning competency for this day, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe and draw parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular line using ruler and set square. Lesson number one, draw parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular line. Let's have some recall first. Rename the figure if it's line, segment, ray, and point. You have 10 seconds, grade 4 pupils. Your timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's rebuild the answer. For number one, the answer is a very good line. For number two, ray. For number three, segment. And for number four, is point. Very good. Great for pupils. Now, let's define first line. Line is a set of points that follow a straight path and extend indefinitely in both directions. We use two distinct points to rename a line. So line AB or in symbol, it is use capital letter AB and right line arrow line in above of it. Now, let's proceed to segment. Segment, it's a part of the line with two endpoints. The endpoint, it is read as segment RB or segment BR. So, in this example, in this illustration, we use P and Q. So, we have segment PQ and segment BR segment QP so this would be the symbol for segment PQ and QP next ray ray is consists of an endpoint and all point of a line on one sided of endpoint so ray CD the order does matter so for example for our example order as matter so this would be ray x y ray x y so it can read as c d or it can read as x y this would be the symbol next for a point a point is a location on space it has no size it has name by a capital letter so it's read as point A or write a capital letter A. So in a pair of lines, we have three different pair of lines. We have parallel, intersecting lines, and perpendicular lines. In parallel lines, lines that never cross each other. So this would be an example of parallel lines. Line AB is parallel to line R, S. They are never met to cross each other. So, this would be an example of parallel lines. Another one is a line MN and line OP. Line MN and line OP, they are not going to meet to cross each other. So, this would be a parallel line. And then for our last example is line WX and line YZ. This would be a parallel line also. And next, intersecting line. When we say an intersecting line, 
the lines that met or cross each other at a point the point of intersection is letter A so line EF and line HG has a point of intersection A then the other one is line MO and line PQ has a point of intersection of N some intersecting lines are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines that form four right angle. Again, this will be the restriction to be a perpendicular lines. To form an intersecting line with four right angles. Like for this example, line QR intersect with line JL so we have a point of intersection K as you can see we have a right angle this one so right angle 1 2 3 and 4 so we have angle JKR as a form of right angle so 1 uh, angle JKQ as another right angle or this one And JFQ, KL, another right angle. Then RKL, another right angle. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 right angle. So this would be a perpendicular line. To draw a parallel intersecting and perpendicular line, we can use a ruler or a set square. So to do a perpendicular line, you need you need two lines of side of the isosceles right triangle of a set square as shown below. So we have two lines using the set square. And then to draw a parallel line, draw a broken line, not a part of the drawing on one side of the isosceles right triangle of the set square draw a solid line this would be the broken line draw a solid line on the other side of the isosceles right triangle so the other side this would be the uh, side for the broken line the other side is for the solid line and then move the triangle on the proper distance from the solid line leaving it touching one side touching to the broken line so the other one is touch with the broken line and draw again with the solid line then draw again with the uh, solid line on the other side of the triangle and see the figure below so this would be a parallel line and then to draw an intersecting line use ruler to draw two lines with common point so this would be an intersecting and common point is this one okay so let's have some example of parallel lines this would be a railroad okay so parallel and then for a guitar a string of guitars yeah parallel and then uh, books pile vertically and horizontally Example of intersecting lines is this one signage for cross road, a uh, railroad crossing, and seesaw road intersection, and another sample of perpendicular line is the isosceles right uh, ruler. Then the clock pointing 3 o'clock and the edge of the blackboard. So that would be the real example of different uh, pairs of lines. Now, what I have learned, you have one minute to fill in all the missing parts for this one. You have one minute, your timer starts now.
Time's up. So parallel lines are lines that blank. Never cross each other. And blank lines are lines that cross other or with only one common point called intersecting line and called point of intersection. To draw blank intersecting lines, use ruler to do lines with common point. To draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines, use isosceles right triangle. So for your home learning task, grade 4 pupils, you're going to answer assessment 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You're going to draw each pair inside the square using a ruler or setup square. That's all for today. Uh, thank you and God bless.